Okay, this is all looking good. This is um, my first Steam broadcast and this is the first dev stream for Black and Slash. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, this is all... Uh, it's all very fresh. Uh, you will, uh, you might notice that uh, things are looking um, a little different on stream than they are uh, in the game uh, that you can, in the demo you can currently play yourself. Uh, this is uh, because I have been frantically working um, on the game uh, these past few few weeks uh, fine-tuning fixing uh, yeah this game is still very much uh, in in development um, but it's super exciting I, I can't wait um, I can't wait uh, for all of you to properly get your hands on it as soon as possible um, but yeah, here we are. Uh, this is a, an entirely new version I'll be playing for this dev stream. Um, this has not been properly tested yet. We might encounter bugs, but uh, it felt like even though uh, during the Steam Next Fest, uh, you have a demo that you can play, um, it felt weird to not show you the most current and uh, new version in this stream today. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you uh, the newest version uh, with lots of changes. Uh, I'll be playing uh, probably a bit more than the demo. Uh, the demo has just the first 15 levels. I will be trying to uh, play a few more uh, in the stream. Let's see how far we can get. Um, I would be happy to answer your questions if there are any. Uh, feel free to ask them in the chat. I will answer them as they come up. And other than that, yeah, maybe a quick introduction again. Uh, I'm Empra. I am the mostly <laughs> solo uh, developer behind this game. Uh, I've had help by uh, two uh, very uh, amazing uh, musicians and audio people. Um, but other than that, uh, the game I made uh, pretty much myself. And I'm proud to show you. Black and Slash, here it is. Um, a, a quick reminder, uh, the the Discord uh, community for this game is very, very, oh, very important. Um, my last game, Core Defense, uh, has uh, benefited so much from uh, being uh, developed with a community-driven approach and I plan to do exactly the same for this game. Um, if you have any ideas, uh, throw them at me. Uh, no matter what uh, your ideas, uh, changes you would like to see in the game, I'm all ears. I'll read any, any message that you send my way, so please feel free to do so. Okay, but now uh, enough of me talking, let's actually play a little bit of that game. So this is a, a clean slate, a fresh prof profile, and I will just uh, start with the normal mode. The ladder mode is uh, locked uh, until you beat level 50. So we'll just jump right in. I'm gonna read that out for you. This is uh, the story, very much a work in progress too still, um, but yeah, this is where it's going. Hey, it's me again, Ida, your friendly artificial intelligent distraction assistant. For this distraction, you will incorporate a prism fighting colors, so you'll be basically fighting yourself. You know, just like in real life. Naturally, this fight is never ending, you cannot escape yourself, escape, except while playing games maybe. But isn't that why you're here? But enough of your problems, let's talk about mine. My programming demands I entertain you, so here's a challenge for you. Can you beat 100 levels? Well, since I can't say no, I will just accept that challenge. And here we are. This is the uh, first level. So, um, Black and Slash is a turn-based game. Uh, you, you know the drill, probably. You have played 
turn-based uh, turn games before. You have a bunch of action points uh, and you can end your turn early. Um, so we start out with uh, three action points and with that hourglass button we can end our turn early. Uh, and we have a base skill uh, that costs one action point and it allows you to move or attack an en enemy in melee range. And we can learn more about the enemies we face in this level with their button at the top. Uh, this is a time treasure, we have to collect it before the timer runs out or disappears. So here at the uh, top you see we have this type of enemy, it's a blocker, it is slow but packs a punch, it uh, has the same base skill I do, um, it can move or it can attack uh, from one action point, it only has one action point and has a few other stats that we don't care about at the moment. So what we want to do is we want to defeat all these enemies um, and we want to collect that treasure if possible. Uh, so I'm going to try and move up here. That costs two action points and then I'm going to attack this one. I didn't kill it. It attacked me back and I took some damage. Uh, you can see the amount of damage you take or the enemies have taken by the amount of uh, uh, black that they have been painted. So, I killed this one, nice, so I'm gonna be able to reach that treasure. Oh, uh, I got some materials, I'll tell you more about those later. Um, so, I'm gonna attack this one, and I'm gonna... Oh, I can't show you, <laughs> show you that, that was uh, strategically not the most clever choice. So, I have one action point left here, but if I would move here or here, uh, the enemy uh, would be able to attack me, so I'm just gonna skip that turn, the rest of the turn, wait for the enemy to move closer, and then... There we go! First level completed. And I un unlocked a bunch of stuff. Uh, so I unlocked uh, a new item type, a tool. Uh, tool grants me a new skill. I unlocked a new skill, the melee double, uh, which allows me to attack two enemies in a line. Um, and a new attribute, uh, damage bonus, increases the damage ideal. Here we, so now you've seen uh, the turn-based uh, part of the game, and now we're going into uh, uh, the hack and, uh, hack and slash kind of uh, part of the game, which is uh, the itemization. So in Black and Slash you have uh, your character, uh, the Prism, can equip uh, items and with these items your character can, use skill, can gain new skills or attributes, uh, better stats. So this one for example, we uh, dropped, a, uh, dropped a tool here, uh, the Quantum Cannon, uh, it gives us a new skill, the melee double we just read about, uh, deals 25 to 50% damage and has an attribute, the damage bonus. We're just gonna outright equip that and we're gonna jump right into the next level. So I'm gonna showcase that skill now. Uh, maybe a bit of info about these. Uh, this one we know already, that's the blocker. This one is basically the, uh, the elite version of the blocker, a shielder that is even tankier because it has shields. You can see that. Uh, with the teal overlay over here, so uh, both the damage and something like shields is just overlaid over the, the, the characters. Um, we have the teleporter here. This one has an additional skill, uh, not just the move and attack, uh, but also the teleport skill, which uh, allows it to move anywhere on the map. And this one here, the waller, uh, that one is quite tanky, but it can't move. Uh, so. This one, for example, here at the top right, the, the blocker, the red one, uh, won't be able to move past the green one. Um, the treasure up in the center, uh, we won't be able to reach. Uh, unlucky uh, with the with the roll here, uh, we would have, we would need something like a teleport skill to be able to get there. So we'll just focus on uh, cleaning up the enemies here. All right. So the teleporter is now next to me, now I have two uh, enemies, maybe I will try to kill that one. Ah, oh, nice, I managed, uh, I have an action point left, and I can move away. Alright, so as in... Uh, 
just like in uh, hack and slash games you know, uh, kiting uh, is an important strategy in this game. Uh, if you just face tank uh, all the enemies, uh, you won't stand much of a chance, especially as, uh, of course, so this game is a, a, a mashup between different genres. Uh, it's on the one hand uh, turn-based uh, games, it's hack and slash games, and it's also has a, it has a lot of uh, roguelike elements. Uh, so, for example, the damage you you uh, are dealt, um, you keep that. Uh, you regenerate a, a bit of it uh, at the start of every level. Uh, so the the base value is ten uh, percent. You ten percent of your overall health uh, you regenerate at the start of each level, but you really have to uh, keep track of uh, the damage you've been dealt. Oh, we got an achievement! Uh, beat a level without getting hit. Well, that's nice. And we also unlocked some new features. Uh, we can now salvage items for materials, an important resource for your progression. And we can uh, now roll the skill Melee Cross uh, on items, uh, which allows us to attack all cardinally adjacent enemies. So that's nice. Uh, here we just uh, so we last uh, in the last level we unlocked uh, the the tool item type the skill melee double and the damage bonus and that is all we had available so naturally <laughs> this item rolled exactly the same stats um, that of course is going to change as you progress and unlock more stuff um, it still makes sense uh, to equip this. Uh, we might have the same skill twice, but we get more damage bonus. So we're definitely going to equip that one as well. We could otherwise salvage it and gain some more materials, which we will be able to use later on. Um, they're really useful. Um, but for now, we want the bonuses. We want to get stronger. And that's what we do. So we can equip a total of three tools. Uh, we have two of uh, three slots filled. But we didn't find more loot yet, so... Oh, another unlucky roll on the treasure timer here. Uh, we would have to collect it this turn, but I don't see that happening. We would need two move points to get over there, so we would have to kill this one on the first... Yeah, nah, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna try... Uh, and... Ooh, this is, this is hairy. Um, if I move here, or here... The wall is going to attack me, and this one, the tripler, has three action points per turn. So uh, that one's going to attack me quite a bit. I think the most clever course of action would be just to skip the turn. Okay, uh, at least I evaded one of these attacks. Uh, and I got you there. I'm going to skip this. Oh no, actually it makes sense to maybe go over here and use the range on this attack. So I'm... I can't be attacked by the waller, but I can attack it. That way I'll stay, stay safe. And I've dropped another item. And some more unlocks. Uh, about these unlocks, uh, this is this is basically um, what I've been working on really... Uh, what I've been working on a lot these past few uh, days. Um, because previous versions, especially also the, the demo that you will be able to play right now in the uh, Steam Next Fest, um, has a bit of a problem with an information overload. Uh, there's uh, This game is... Uh, it is a simple game. Uh, all you do basically is you have a round of combat, you, you play a level and then you have some, some inventory management and you improve your character, uh, or attributes, whatever, uh, you you get better, but that's it. It's always that same loop. You play a level, you get a bit better, you play a level, you go, uh, play, uh, get a bit better. Um, so while the game is simple, I also wanted it to uh, be deep strategically, uh, to have a lot of replayability, to have a lot of uh, different strategies and builds and whatnot. And this is where all these different skills and attributes come in. Uh, but the first version, if you will, or uh, the demo that's currently live, throws all that information at you immediately. Uh, and uh, yeah, seeing seeing people play it and getting feedback from players, it 
clearly uh, that clearly stood out as the the biggest problem, the information overload. Uh, I have uh, since worked hard on solving that problem by tying all these all this stuff uh, uh, into an unlock system, which gradually. Uh, unlocks uh, these things and also presents you that information in a more digestible way. So um, it takes you all the way up to level 50 to unlock most of the stuff. There's some coming after that too, but so the first 50 levels are basically where you um, slowly get get going and unlock everything and then after 50 the, the, the late game uh, kicks in and then after 100 levels the real late game kicks in. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. I have uh, uh, lots of plans for this game yet. Uh, I I will <laughs> I will tease uh, a level editor here. Uh, I want to add late game challenges, um, but I'll talk about that a little later when we have reached level ten and unlocked a feature that is very important and vital to this game. For now, let's continue and play some more. Uh, we have uh, unlocked a new skill, uh, Regenerate, uh, which allows us to instantly regain some of the health we lost. And a new attribute, Action Points. Uh, this is actually a very crucial one. This is... Um, I think uh, so far this has been my go-to attribute. If I have action points on an item, I'm gonna favor that over basically everything else. Because um, you, in, in a turn-based game, uh, if you have only three action points, um, having one more makes a huge difference and might be very fa favorable to something else. Uh, so, we have one more free tool slot, and here we got some with a new uh, new skill here, the Melee Cross, uh, and we're definitely gonna try that out. We got a little ba damage bonus on top as well, that is nice. So we have in total... Yeah, uh, 34. That's, that's, uh, that's a considerable bonus. Uh, we will feel that uh, when we jump uh, into the next uh, level. Number four. Ooh, lots of treasure, treasure. Um, here we're gonna try and get these ones first here at the top left because they uh, would otherwise disappear. Let me go back into the middle. Let's see what we can catch. Oh yeah, we can get these two. One and two. Okay, we have to go back into the middle. We're gonna miss out on these at the top, but get these. Yeah, that's nice. That's proper loot here. Okay, and now... We're gonna waste a turn here. These can't move anyway, so I'm not in danger. I can take my time. And then I'm gonna try and use the melee cross here. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, I forgot I had to move there. But taking a bit of damage is okay. Uh, I, I mentioned earlier I have a, a regeneration uh, by default of 10%. Uh, so taking up to 10% damage in a level is uh, nothing to worry about. And again, I'm using the melee double to attack these from a distance without getting in danger myself. So far, this is going nicely. We unlocked a new skill, uh, the ranged lightning. Uh, damage an enemy at range and it jumps to cardinally adjacent enemies. So that is a really, really cool skill. Um, <laughs> when I when I first shared that skill on uh, Twitter, I have uh, <laughs> I have added uh, that I will probably never make a game without lightning. <laughs> yeah, I just I just love lightning too much. It 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 just it's so cool. I, ever since I was a I was a when I when I, when I was a kid, I went to a museum and they had these like this lightning room with these big uh, Tesla coils and then they were shooting lightning in between and I think that has forever been <laughs> it burned into my memory and yeah I, I, I try to replicate it ever since um, okay so we've got the we've got the resistance attribute as well uh, which uh, allows us to reduce incoming damage another very very important one uh, the enemies have it too so this is something you can also use to your advantage uh, by um, by reducing that for enemies. But more on that later. As I said, uh, this is all gradually being unlocked. Uh, for now, we're just gonna collect. Oh, we've got quite a few items. That's nice. 
So, oh, here we have some action points, for example. Here we have another... Um, we could maybe replace the one... Oh, and we have some uh, regeneration skill here as well. Um, maybe I'll try... I'll try and replace all these items I have with... So, for example, here I have the damage bonus. I'm going to lose out on the damage bonus, but I'm getting uh, 0.2 action points. Uh, at the moment, that's not going to do much. But as soon as I get uh, the one extra by combining attributes or multiple items, I'm going to have another one and I'm going to shoot for that as soon as possible. I want to keep the same skills. So I'm just going to... Oh, no. I'm going to replace this one because this has only 10% damage bonus. Nice. I'm going to do the same here with the cross. I'm going to compare that replace the current cross I have and I I'm not sure I don't I don't think I need the regenerate skill f so far uh, I might need it later and I might be <laughs> uh, might be sad that I have salvaged it but for now I'm gonna just I'm gonna salvage the rest uh, collect a few more uh, materials because these we're gonna need later salvage these and we're gonna jump in into the next level um, we have plenty of time here, so if I would move to that treasure at the top right, uh, that one, this one is a gunner, uh, which has a ranged attack, and it has um, two, three, four uh, tiles maximum range, so um, two, four, it would be able to reach this, uh, this one if I would go over here and then maybe back, so I'd, I'd be definitely in range. I think I have enough time to go over here, try and kill that one. No! Oh. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try again. No! Come on, RNG! Okay, I have to... I want to collect that treasure. I did. All right. Now we have a problem though. Uh, this one is blocking the way to the other treasure. Ah! Okay, this this didn't go at all as I planned. I should have, <laughs> I could have solved that way more cleverly, I guess. Uh, but here we are. Because now that I kill that one, the the level is one, and I lose out on that other, other treasure. Um, I've tried to uh, in the in the level design so far. I've tried to um, keep them all a bit puzzly. Of course. It, this is a turn-based hack and slash game, so there's gonna be levels with a, with a whole bunch of enemies running at you, and, and you're gonna have AoE skills, and you're gonna burn through all these enemies, but especially early on it's gonna be very puzzly, and you, by, by thinking cleverly, by, by, strategi uh, by coming up with a strategy how to solve levels, you will be able uh, to get more loot or other kinds of advantages, take less damage, and so on. We unlocked more stuff again, um, so this is going to continue. The game will, will just throw new stuff at you every level you beat, the first time you beat it, of course. Um, so now we got a new item type, module. Uh, these ones don't roll skills, you have only uh, three skill slots, with the three uh, slots for, I uh, for tools you have. But we also unlocked a new rarity, rare items. These don't roll just one attribute, but two. Interesting. So let's continue. Nothing exciting here anymore. Ah, and more action points. That actually... Eh. Yep. I'm gonna replace that. So we have now action points, action points, action points. Already 0 0.6. We just need two more items with an action point bonus and we're good to go. Uh, is this one even better than the one I have? It is better. 0 0.02, better. That's nice. All right, uh, level six. Let's pick up the pace a bit here. Um, so we're starting to see some, some levels with more enemies and I will try to use the uh, melee cross uh, to my advantage here. Let them come at me. And let's see if without the damage bonus, obviously I'm gonna do a lot less damage, so I'm gonna kite a bit here. I don't wanna lose too much health on this one. This is a rather easy level. I wanna... Okay, here, yeah, the last one I'm gonna... This one deals 25 to 50% damage, and this one 
40 to 60, so that this one does more damage, I'm gonna make sure that this one uh, disappears and doesn't have a chance to attack me. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna have to kite again. This is my last chance, chance at kiting. Now I have to really, really clean these up. Okay. Ah, oh, one more attack. There we go. Obviously the... Oh! Ooh, I'm gonna get hit. Ooh. Uh, the R <laughs> RNG is uh, obviously... Uh, this is a roguelike game as well, so RNG is gonna play a, a huge role. Um, which is a bit unusual, I reckon, for especially for a turn-based game. Um, where, you know, for example, Into the Breach was a huge inspiration for this one. I, I love Into the Breach. Uh, it's a brilliant game, in my opinion. Um, and in this one, for example, there's there's not a lot of RNG, um, in combat at least, or while you're playing the game. Um, but I think uh, for, for a turn-based game that's also a hack-and-slash game, uh, RNG uh, is very important. Um, makes, you know, even if you play the same level again, you recognize the level, the same strategy you use might not be working out because you were just lucky last time or the other way around. Uh, it's very interesting, in my opinion. We unlocked a new skill. Uh, the melee triple uh, attack three enemies in a line. Uh, that's nice. And we got a new attribute, shields. Uh, they reduce incoming damage uh, and they refresh at the start of each turn. We've seen the, uh, seen that already on the um, shielder enemy. But now we can also have that for ourselves. Oh, and here we go. We dropped our first uh, module, uh, and this one has the action point stat, the very desirable action point stat. I'm very glad I, I wrote that. And I'm gonna just equip it. Uh, just a quick, um, you also have, um, you don't have to do this uh, for every item. Uh, of course you can do it for every item, but there's also these handy buttons down here. Uh, the auto equip, for example, will just uh, fill uh, empty loot slots uh, from the loot. So for example, I have a, 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 I found a module, I still have module slots. I have six in the, uh, of those in total. Uh, and I'm just gonna use that, automatically equip the module. This one I don't care about, so I'm gonna salvage it. And we're gonna jump right into the next game, uh, level. Alright, um, so I'm gonna try and damage this one. Maybe I can even... I'm gonna try it twice. Ah, that didn't work. Okay, it's gonna be able to attack me, but just this one. Um, I'm gonna collect this. Oh, a rare, rare module. That's nice. Okay, by moving here, I got out of their attack range. Uh, remember, they can, sh they have four range. Uh, Four tiles range, but only in one direction. They can't uh, shoot around corners, so that one got me safe. And close enough to the treasure to collect that. That's nice. Now I'm gonna be in this one's attack range. And we're clearly seeing uh, that <laughs> choosing the choosing the ac action points over, over the damage bonus uh, makes a huge difference. Uh, we do a lot less damage, especially as the enemies are uh, scaling with the amount of levels. So uh, not only are the levels getting bigger and more difficult and more puzzly, also the enemies itself, uh, themselves, they, they, they get stat bonuses. Uh, maybe not action points, but something like a damage bonus, their evade chance, their resistance, they, that continuously goes up uh, with every level. Uh, so if we're not somehow improving our damage, we just get worse and worse and worse. But uh, it's early enough in the game that uh, I think we can afford to do that. Damage-wise, we're still uh, doing fine, I reckon. So here we are. Uh, we unlocked a skill, uh, the ranged push, uh, which allows us to push an enemy at range, and an attribute, uh, which uh, the regeneration, and we've been talking about it already, now we can actually roll it uh, on items, and this one allows us to um, regain health we lost in 
previous levels, uh, every time we start a level, at the beginning of a level, you re regenerate some health. 10% is the base value and we can improve that by equipping attributes with, with that regeneration stat. I want to quickly talk about the, the push too. Uh, so pushing is an entirely different way of playing the game. You're not damaging uh, the enemies, but you're trying to, to push them off the game board, um, which is really powerful. Um, and in my opinion, a very interesting way to play. Um, currently, there, there are quite a few different ways of playing the game, quite a few strategies, and I plan on adding so many more. Uh, this is this is where the, the, the fun happens, you know. Uh, first you build a game, you have a vision, you... Um, then it's all working, and then you add more and more content. This, 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 uh, this is the most fun part of game development for me, to be honest. Um, yeah, quite a few in place, but many more to come. All right, nice. Oh, this is interesting. We have a rare module, the Chip of Darkness, which gives us shields, which is nice, and it gives us action points. Uh, this is really nice too. Um, just a quick note here. Uh, all the uh, skills and attributes, they have a little help button here, and with that you can bring up a little pop-up, which tells you all about it. Um, so I think with this one, uh, we have a total of five items with action points. We have one, two, three, four, and this one. I think with this, we're finally uh, over the threshold and we have four action points. Let's see if we do. We do. Oh, that's great. And another treasure level. That's really nice. So I'm gonna do some looting here. Another rare module. Thank you. So the... RN gods are uh, in our favor right now. Okay, and now let's melee cross the shit out of these guys. Ah! Close, but no cigar. Okay, and then here. Melee double. Ah, not doing a lot of damage at all. Now I have all these actions for points, but <laughs> what I'm doing with it is uh, lackluster, I reckon. Uh, here we are. Let's see. One, two, at least one. Ah, but the wrong one. Ah. Okay, this time I took a took a bit of damage, but um, I guess I'll be I'll be fine. We unlocked a new skill, the melee roundhouse. Uh, this one allows us to attack all adjacent enemies. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and we have unlocked the resistance. Did I just find a bug? Didn't we unlock resistance earlier? Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. T <laughs> As I said, uh, the the version you're currently seeing, um, this has not been tested. I have <laughs> I've actually been working on this like half an hour ago. Uh, I, I I did some more uh, fixes and, and fine tuning. Uh, we might encounter more bugs. Uh, I'm I'm so far really happy the game didn't crash yet. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, we still have a bit of time to go. It, it might still happen. We might run into a, cru a critical bug here. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna quickly have to write that down. Uh, resistance twice. Well, wait. Welcome to game that life. Uh, this is this is all. It's all crazy. I, I I have a. We're. To be honest, it might not have been the best idea uh, to take part in the first Steam Next Fest this year. Maybe the second one would have been better. Because I, I'm obviously playing now a much cooler version that you are able to play in the demo. Um, and I'm very sorry for that. But then on the other hand, this is just, uh, I don't know, uh, this is how it goes. I, I, I want my game to be playable as early as possible, so I get some. Uh, go, uh, I, I publish something for you to play. Um, but then also I'm working on it and I'm build, building new cool stuff, which I also want to show. It's, uh, it's a constant, <laughs> continuous cycle. Um, anyway, uh, let's move on to the next level. We have oh, so much, more, so many more action points. This is nice. Regeneration a bit. This is nice. Shields. Uh, I have more slots, so let's just uh, auto equip these and jump right into the next level. Okay, another one with a few blockers. Um, let's maybe 
double. Oh, oh, I do so little damage. I have a tiny. Oh yeah, I have a tiny bit of, of shield. You can you can see that just the tip, the tip of my prism has a, a, a bit of shields. Um, I'm probably never gonna get that that treasure there, but oh, we can we can we can sure try. Ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is really uh, this is really funny. Uh, I I tell you how strong the action point stat is and end up. No, look at that! I'm missing that. Oh, just by a ah ah. Anyway, I tell you about how strong the action point stat is and end up completely. Uh, end up completely uh, failing, uh, it seems like, at least at the moment. Okay, okay. I, I have a good feeling about this. Yes! Okay, no more damage. I can't allow it to take more, more damage. One more. Okay, kite. Alright. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Uh, I think on the next items I get, I have to... I have to favor uh, some kind of damage. We got a new skill, teleport. Uh, we all already know that from the teleporter enemy. Uh, it allows us to move on any free tile on the map and it does not work on transluc translucent tiles. Um, these were especially gonna find in uh, uh, the boss levels, uh, which I think is gonna be the next one. Uh, we just finished difficulty number nine, so the next one should be uh, a boss level. Every 10 levels is a boss level. Um, we won't actually be fighting a boss. Uh, it is a special level where you have to reach uh, the exit. It's not about uh, defeating all the enemies, where you have, you have to uh, reach the exit in a certain number of turns. Uh, evade uh, is a new attribute to be unlocked. Uh, this one uh, allows us to eva evade incoming uh, attack skills. Uh, we already s we've seen it in game. Now we can actually roll it on our items. Oh, we didn't get any loot though. Maybe we will in this one. So level ten. Exactly as I showed you, uh, told you, uh, we have three turns to reach this exit. Um, these tiles are translucent. You see that they're they're, uh, uh, they're see through. Um, we have to get to that yellow yellow exit thingy and. Um, if we would have a ranged attack, we would be able to uh, attack these gunners we have on the left. Uh, as we don't, uh, we can just move through and hope for the best. We're gonna get attacked a bit, but yep, here we are. Easy one. And a new achievement. Milestone. Clear level 10. We just did. Oh, and here we are. We unlocked a new feature. The Vault. Uh, you can now store items in the in the vault for future runs, uh, one per ten levels you beat. You can use this anytime and upon death. Um, this is a hugely important feature uh, for this game. Uh, I told you it's not just a turn-based game, it's not just a hack and slash game, it's also a roguelike game and uh, this has... this is an interesting challenge from a game design point of view. Because uh, Hack and slash games usually are uh, all about progression. You get better and better and better and better all the time. Maybe in, with the exception of something like hardcore uh, in in Diablo or whatnot, um, where you actually die when you die and the progression is lost. It's pretty much about getting better all the time. And obviously, I want. I want that feeling uh, to come up in this game as well, uh, but I also want the roguelike aspects. I want a, a run to be fairly quick and you want to have multiple runs and still have that feeling of progression. Uh, and this is where, where the vault comes in. Um, once I send an item to the vault uh, during my run or at the end of it, um, it's gone, I can't use it in this run anymore, but when I start the next run, I, uh, I can take items out of the vault and uh, sort of continue where I left off, but not exactly, because uh, I have, in total, I have nine item slots, so I would have to beat uh, level 90 
to keep all my items. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, beating level 90 is hard. Uh, so you can expect to, to play, I don't know, 10, 10 runs, maybe 20 runs until you actually get to that point. Um, and then that is only like the normal mode. Um, there's also going to be the ladder mode where uh, you start from scratch. You don't have uh, any materials. These also carry over. Like uh, materials and items you send in the vault uh, carry over for, for future runs. Uh, in the ladder mode, uh, you, you start from scratch every week and you compete uh, with other players in an online leaderboard. Um, at the end of which, though, uh, you can also use the vault again. So you can you can think of the the vault for normal mo mode as a constantly growing uh, archive of items and and different um, yeah uh, a stockpile for different uh, strategies you want to play. For example, if I'm I'm playing a, a, a round where. Um, uh, I, I play the push strategy, but then I find an item which is really good for another strategy that I want to try out. There you go, pop it in the vault, and the next run I do, uh, I, I maybe have a, a, a complete set or something, uh, and I take these three items and then I try out this strategy. So um, the vault is really, really cool, important feature for this game, and uh, oh, oh, yeah, and, and there's another feature. <laughs> Uh, every time we beat a boss level, um, we get a reward, uh, a stat reward, uh, an att attribute reward for the next 10 levels until we have the next uh, next boss level. So uh, here, for example, uh, we have a chance of getting an extra action point at the cost of 20% evade chance. Um, while Evade might be good. <laughs> one action point is definitely better in my opinion. I'm definitely going to choose this one. 20% shields uh, versus uh, minus 20 regeneration would be interesting too. Um, all of these are good, really. I've seen way, way worse rolls uh, for this. Um, I'm just going to take this. Uh, an extra action point is... Uh, you know I like action points. This, <laughs> this has <laughs> probably... Uh, uh, you, you probably guessed as much by now. Uh, so I'm gonna choose this. And here we go. Uh, you might notice, you might have noticed the music just changed. Um, I have I have uh, heard feedback that uh, the, the the music uh, is is cool, but it it uh, there's not much too much variety. Uh, that's because um, we. Uh, we have a, a bunch of tracks, it's almost a dozen uh, tracks we have, um, but we keep the same one for uh, 10 levels. And then each time you beat a boss level, you get a new music music track. Uh, in case you were wondering, uh, this uh, the soundtrack for this game is absolutely amazing. Um, and there's more than just one track. Uh, also, um, I'm just gonna jump in the next level. Here, at the top right, ah, no, you can't put it. See that because the resolution. I'm only well. Usually, you would have the top right. You would have you would see uh, uh, a button with a music note with which you can change the music if you're if you want to hear something else. You don't have to rely on the game to do it. So let's play this level, shall we? Um, here we have a. Oh, I have a bunch. Ah, of course. Yeah, I get the reward now. I have. Uh, now I have five action points and not just four. Um, I can do a lot of stuff now, that's really interesting. Um, I might be interested in getting that treasure up here. One, two, three, four. Might still have one left. Let's try and use that to get away from that triple over there. Still attacking me, that, that guy. I will try and attack these. I have so many action points. Oh, this is great. This is great. Okay, I can still get that treasure next turn and then slash the fuck out of this guy. Yay! And some more stuff. Now it gets really interesting. So the first 10 levels are... Yeah, you slowly get rolling. 
and whatnot, but uh, after level 10 is where the unlocks really kick in. Now we can roll legendary items. Uh, these have uh, three random attributes, um, as opposed to one for common and two for rare items, and they can roll legendary attributes. Um, these are really, really, really cool. Um, you can think of you can think of those a bit like uh, like artifacts in Slate Aspire, you know, uh, some modifiers or some they introduce changes to mechanics, uh, which are really cool. Um, and then we have uh, set items, which also roll uh, three. Uh, random attributes and they uh, grant set bonuses so if you have two or more of the same set uh, they give you specific bonuses and these bonuses as well can uh, can have legendary attributes so well uh, for example there's uh, a set uh, which um, which focuses about moving around a lot uh, so you're not actually, you're not really attacking the enemies, you're, you're just moving. Uh, and the legendary attribute here would be that every time you move, you attack uh, an adjacent enemy. So uh, by just moving, you attack the uh, enemy. So it's, it's these uh, very powerful changes introduced by these legendary attributes that make the game really, uh, really fun, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so... Let's see if we can drop uh, a legendary or set item sometime soon. Uh, ooh, we've got a new, we've got a new skill. Interesting. Uh, so let's see. I have a lot of action points. I think I, I can try and replace this one. <laughs> The, the melee cross I will replace with the melee roundhouse, uh, be just because it hits more enemies. It does a little less damage possibly, but I've also got a new uh, increased damage bonus here. Um, yeah, I'll replace that. Uh, just because I haven't mentioned it earlier, so what, what happens when you replace an item? So uh, I, I got a new one, I already have three equipped. I click the co uh, compare uh, and then... Um, well, you might have guessed from that big X across the item, but this action, uh, this item gets removed. It gets automatically salvaged. So the only way to save items uh, or to keep items is either equip them or put them in the vault. Everything that doesn't get equipped or put in the vault, it just gets salvaged. And down here, the, the, the key symbol here, uh, that's, uh, we have one uh, vault slot. Um, which we unlocked uh, uh, upon beating level 10. Um, we can use these now, so I could send something to the vault now, but no, now I want to use these. Um, or I could do it at the end of a, a run when I, when I actually die. All right. Oof. Well, we got some more enemies. Uh, quite a few here, actually. Uh, you you have seen all all these before. The blocker uh, blocker uh, doesn't do much, but it's quite has a strong attack. The doubler has two actions per turn. The waller doesn't move, and this one here, the deflector, has a high counter chance. Fifty six percent counter chance. Um, counter is going to be when if I'm standing next to it and attacking it it has a chance of returning an attack. Uh, we actually can have that too. We will unlock that attribute later. You'll see. Um, so for now, uh, maybe I'll, I'll try and show that to you. I'm just gonna pop out my round... Ah, there, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I just got countered. Got attacked. Um, and I, I just did again. Come on. Come on, one lucky... One lucky attack would be nice. Okay, there we go. I am not being attacked myself, so I need one, two, three attributes, uh, three points to get to that uh, treasure here. That's not gonna happen, but I dropped an item anyway there. Maybe if I'm really lucky, I, oh yes, there's a path. I just got another item, that's nice. So, 
Now I'm not gonna use that roundhouse uh, skill because it just it takes too many action points and uh, doesn't do enough damage. If I'm only hitting one or two enemies, might as well um, use the single target default attack. Yeah, it doesn't. It just doesn't do any damage. Ooh, I need more damage bonus. Using the rest of my action points here. Uh, it's a bit a bit sad to have these cool skills but not be able to use them just because I don't do enough damage. Uh, but yeah, it's still early in the game. Uh, we still have a, a while to go. So here I'm gonna range attack this one. Oh, we have got two new attributes. Crit critical chance and critical bonus. Um, there are a lot of, lot of. Uh, you will see later, there are lots of different attributes which give you more, uh, more damage. Um, critical uh, is a bit of a different one uh, in so far. This is a, 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 an easy tip for, for early adopters. If, you, if you're watching the stream, you have an advantage that no one might know about later. Uh, critical is the only... Uh, like all the, all the other bonuses are additive and crits are multiplicative. Uh, so if you want to really dish out some damage, uh, a full-on damage build probably won't work uh, without crits. If anyone wants to start a wiki someday, this might be information uh, that will be useful. Okay, uh, just a bunch of uh, bunch of common stuff. I will still take these, uh, so I'm gonna auto equip these two modules because I had uh, two slots left. Oh yeah! Now we filled them all and gained an achievement. Um, this one here, I'm not interested at all. Uh, evade chance, 1%, that's a shitty roll. Uh, I don't want the stat right now, I'm not, I don't care too much about it. I'm just gonna auto salvage uh, and start the next level. I will probably not be able to, uh, with the damage I deal, I won't be able to get that treasure, so might as well not worry about it at all right now. Instead, um, I might try uh, to hit three enemies at once with my roundhouse and dish out uh, ah, not too much damage. But you see so far uh, I'm doing alright in terms of the, the damage I, I get. I, I have been able to, uh, to regenerate all of it. So far, this is the damage I just took in this level. Um, obviously, uh, there is um, quite a bit of fine-tuning uh, left to happen. Um, the the thing is, I have um, I have worked on this game now for for about half a year, um, and it was only like a week or two ago that it was in a state where I was able to properly playtest it. Um, where all the systems, all the mechanics, everything was in place. And um, it's only at that stage that you <laughs> really see uh, the problems that you have. You know, for, for example, the information overload. Also, there were... Uh, all th that's what you're also gonna see if you play the demo that's currently live. There's just way too many items. There's too much information to scan. Um, and that sort of ruins the fun, um, but this new version to the rescue. Uh, I, I, I think it uh, it feels really nice now, but still, there's there's a lot of balancing to do. Uh, it, I want this game to be hard, uh, and it might be that it's not cranking up up the difficulty as fast as I wanted to. Uh, as I said, the 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 goal is that you you shouldn't be able. Uh, to clear uh, like level 100 uh, in your first run um, for two reasons. First of all, I think it's interesting that that whole roguelike aspect is really interesting, and also for the um, for the ladder. Uh, that's uh, I think it would be kind of boring if 
the ladder is only comprised of people who play, I don't know, difficulty 150. Um, of course that might happen anyway, <laughs> but I think it's more interesting if it if the, if the game is hard. It's just, I, I, I like making hard games, I like playing hard games. Uh, maybe not Dark Souls hard, but hard. Uh, it should be challenging, otherwise it's just boring. Uh, okay, here we are. Let's deal some more, dish out more damage. Alright, that's kinda good. The doubler won't reach me here. There we go. Uh, the level finished. And some new skills. Dash and slash and dash and push. Um, we haven't seen a push skill yet. I, I might, uh, if, if I am able to roll an item uh, with a push skill, I'd, I'd love to show you that. But yeah, we've got these available. Can, the, can roll these now, level 14. And here we go. Some, I am walled in here by these top two wallers. I will try and clean this side. Yes, perfect. Let me, at least I don't get attacked by that waller, just by the gunner back there. And then I'll try and go back and repeat the same process. Ah, no, I get attacked by this. That's fine. Well, the, the shield. I have this tiny, teeny tiny shield, uh, just 2%, I think, or 3 but that makes a huge difference already. Shield also is a very, very strong stat. Uh, what's better than take, uh, than regenerating health and healing damage and not taking damage of course oh uh, two of my absolutely favorite attributes in this game uh, for different play styles um, the momentum bonus and the stationary bonus the momentum bonus is a damage bonus gained each time you move uh, it resets at the end of the turn um, this is really cool. Uh, I mentioned the build earlier where you move around a lot. Uh, so if you have that, that whole set, for example, that allows you to, uh, to automatically attack enemies just upon moving, you, you just move around and every attack gets stronger and you just dance around the enemies and they just explode into bits. It's really cool. It's very satisfying gameplay. And the stationary bonus uh, is a damage bonus gained each turn you stay on the spot. Uh, it resets upon moving and is capped at three turns. Uh, this one is really cool as well for tanky kind of builds. Uh, for example, again here we have a, have a sat, uh, the Italian set, which allows you uh, to gain a very, very high counter chance uh, and a high stationary bonus. So this one, you just stand in the middle of, uh, of a bunch of enemies and you... you, you raise your shields and you just wait being for being attacked and then you dish out these counters left and right. Also very satisfying gameplay. Um, and things like that I, I plan to add a lot more of. Uh, that stuff is just fun. Uh, I, I like... Uh, I just love games that are simple uh, from the game... Uh, the, the, with a, ga a simple gameplay loop but have a lot of variety in the strategies and the kind of ways you can play it. Uh, that's just... I mean, core defense was the same. Uh, this one is going to be the same. And let's see, maybe my next one will too. Uh, I hope I, I will be able to make a next game. Uh, so, so I will be. Uh, please wish list down below. And if you like the game, tell your friends about it. Uh, I'm a solo dev. Uh, there's no publisher, there's no investors, there's no money, I rely on you guys to, to keep that thing going. So um, I'm very thankful uh, for everyone, for really every single copy uh, of a game I sell. Uh, makes me very happy and enables me to make more games. So we got another a new skill here, the melee triple, but it's a rare one. Ah, I don't care. We need to find a, a legendary item. I, I am I want legendary items. Uh, I'll just use a single target attack here. Oh! I, <laughs> this, is, this is interesting. I could go in there. I could go in there and get the treasure, but then I would be attacked uh, like eight times. Um, these two triplers standing next to the treasure, and then the teleporter has two action points as well. Uh, 
that's probably a bad idea. Uh, I probably shouldn't do that. It's very juicy. I want it, but it would be stupid to do it now. Uh, so instead, I'm just gonna go here. Ah! Countered! Okay, teleporters have cornered me, so I'm gonna use the cross here to try and get rid of these guys. Countered again. I have two more attacks, and then I'm gonna finish this one off. Okay, so I have one turn left. Something you can use to your advantage too, like these treasures. Uh, enemies won't step on these treasures. They have to go around them, uh, which is something uh, that can be useful information uh, for your strategy. So I'm gonna um, go over here. And maybe I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let them come. And then I'm gonna do the full-on roundhouse. Oh, no, full-on roundhouse. Ah, oh, yes. These wallers can't attack me. I can just keep on roundhousing them. And there we go. Just a common drop, though. Where are my Where are my legendaries? Uh, we unlocked a new feature. Two features, actually. Um, the attribute summary. Uh, you can now toggle a list of all your attributes combined. And you, uh, we unlock the weather. Uh, levels can now roll weather, striking random tiles each turn, deadly to both you and your enemies. Um, this is also basically <laughs> uh, the same thing existed in uh, in core defense. This is uh, uh, just a rehash of something I've done before, but I really like it. Uh, it makes. Um, it just adds another layer of strategy uh, to the levels. Uh, so the same level can roll with or without it. Uh, there's a, I think, 30% chance or 25% chance of, the, of a level of rolling weather. Uh, it's just interesting. Uh, you can use it to your advantage. Uh, for example, if you have a build uh, that uses pushing, uh, you can push the enemies into the into the lightning strikes or uh, Sometimes you have to. It, it sort of counters the stationary gameplay when you when you want to stand still, but the weather is forcing you to move. I think that's really interesting. So I always try to. Uh, if I add something in the game, I will add something else that counters it. Uh, that way, it's a, it's a, it's an intricate web of things that <laughs> that always uh, cancel each other out, but still everything turns out to be fun. Uh, it, I don't know. I can't explain it well, I just do it. Uh, and I'm, I, I sure hope I'm doing it well. Uh, if I don't, please uh, please tell me. We finally rolled a tool with a push skill, so I definitely want to show you that. I'm going to compare that. So the melee double, meh. Melee cross, meh. I think I'm going to uh, just replace the melee cross here because we have the roundhouse which basically does the thing the same thing just for a little less damage but a bigger aoe so i'm just gonna replace this one and the rest i'm gonna salvage and we're gonna head it ah lucky there we go here, here's some weather already um and a big level uh so you see uh, these uh these yellow yellow marks here on the on, on the tiles that are gonna be hit uh, you're gonna see them in just a second. For now, I'm going to going to showcase the push. So, for example, I can push this one here on the right, and oh, legendary item drop! Yay! So, we push the push the enemy uh, off the cliff, so to speak, uh, and they will they will die if that that happens. And I not I might not be able to show you that now. But uh, there's a cascade going on as well. So if you push one and there's another one standing behind it, that one uh, gets pushed as well. Um, but for now, let's just move around a bit and push some more enemies down. Oh no. Oh, uh, maybe the treasure would be interesting too. So here's the lightning striking and killing enemies for me. That's really nice. I got dashed at by this dasher, uh, but I don't even have to worry about this one because it's gonna die next turn as well as this one and this one, so there's not too much trouble. Let's just go here 
and then push that one back so it can't reach me. Nice, so that one is gonna come next to me. Oh, no luck on the on the lightning here. Oh yeah, uh, by the way, you can you can look around uh, by dragging. Um, that uh, as we continue, levels get bigger and more complicated. That might be uh, necessary uh, to look around a bit. So this to me looks like a perfect use case for my roundhouse. Here we go. Oh, they do a lot of damage though. Not much longer they won't. Okay, maybe I'm gonna have, uh, may maybe I'm gonna be able to show you that push cascade. Yes, I will. Um, so I'm gonna move over here. And then I'm gonna push this one. Ah, and they both are pushed. And again. Um, I'm gonna push these bo both off the cliff. So I'm gonna move one tile. I'm gonna push them. I'm gonna move and push them. And I'm gonna move and push this one. There we go! Ah, oh, that was a nice double. I like that. So and now, so we're, I think we just cleared like level 16. Now it, uh, now the, the unlocks will tone down a bit. So the first 15 levels you unlock two or three uh, things after each clear, after each level you clear, and then it gets a bit slower. And it's just one, uh, but it keeps going on until level 50. So here we unlocked uh, the material gain bonus. It cr increases the amount of materials found and gained by salvaging. Uh, that's cool. Uh, very useful. As I said, materials do both. They carry over in normal games and in ladder games. But like you start ladder games without the materials you have, but at the end of them, it goes back to your the, the big normal pile. Um, yeah, they're a very important resource uh, for other things I will probably won't be able to show in this, this stream today. But um, yeah, you can improve your items. Let's say let's say this much. Uh, let's continue and look at that. Oh, nice! A legendary tool uh, with the skill here. Uh, ranged roundhouse, big AOE as you can see, uh, but ranged and a solid amount of damage, uh, 50 to 150 uh, percent. Cost three action points. Uh, that is not a problem for us, though, as we get five at the moment. Um, I will definitely equip that one. Um, we get some other stuff as well. Not that interesting, though. No, I'm gonna just, uh, or maybe I'll, I'll just vault that for now. The thing is, we're we're already. Uh, we're already, uh, we have spent quite a bit of time here, and uh, I think this might be a good time to actually uh, wrap it for today. Uh, there's another stream uh, going to be happening on Friday, which I'm looking forward to. Maybe I'll continue this run on Friday, we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll do something else entirely, I'm not entirely sure yet, uh, but we'll see. For now, I have to also, let's say, nature calls. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I have, oh, I have completely disregarded the chat. Uh, I think I'm lucky though. Uh, oh, there's nothing there. Very good. Um, cool. Uh, if you were watching, I hope you had fun. Um, I sure hope you are interested in the game. Uh, I hope you pushed the wishlist button down below um, yeah and if you have questions uh, throw them over to me uh, discord twitter email whatever uh, is your favorite form of communication uh, I'm, I'm all ears um, and maybe uh, just a, a few notes on the on the date so far so the version I'm currently working on that you have just seen on the stream is going to be uh, coming out as uh, like a second alpha. This game is still an alpha. Uh, a second alpha with up to level 50. Uh, you can gain access to that if you join the Discord server. Uh, you can find the URL uh, also down below. Um, 
And then on March 20, 22nd, uh, the game is going to be released in early access uh, on itch.io. And then on July 22nd, uh, the final release version uh, is going to hit Steam. And also Andro uh, Android and iOS uh, is going to be available on the App Store and Play Store as well. Yeah. I hope you like what I'm doing here. Uh, I sure, uh, I sure do myself. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun making that. I, uh, I'm surprised by how just how much fun I have making that game. Um, I'm happy how, uh, with how it's turning out so far, and I hope you are too. Well, uh, I hope to see you again. Have a good day. <laughs>